Um, so this is maximizing your listing concierge marketing. So once I've placed my listing concierge order, what comes next? What do I do? How can I take all of the marketing that's involved and market myself? Um, now, I want to market the listing, of course, but I also want to market myself, my own brand. I want to win more listings. I want to get more business and I want to make more money um, is what it, what it really boils down to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. Um, and we're going to jump right into desk. Um, and the very first thing that we're going to do at mycbdesk.com is we're going to go into the listing concierge tab right here. We're going to find our listing concierge tab wherever it is on the screen, and I'll make that a little bit bigger so we can see it. Um, and this listing concierge tab has a cheat sheet, and it's probably one of the best cheat sheets out of all of the Coldwell Banker tools, if I do say so myself, um, just, just as my opinion. There's a little kebab menu down here. Um, some people call it a three dot ellipsis, a menu button, anything that you want to call that. It's usually at the very, very bottom right hand side of your listing concierge tile. And if you click through to that, you will find a comprehensive help center, which we'll dive into in just a second. And you're going to find a timeline. And really the timeline is the perfect place to start as far as maximizing all of your marketing. So I'm going to go ahead and click that timeline button. And what this is going to do is give me the opportunity to see when everything in my order is going to be ready. Um, I don't want to miss the opportunity to get that proof and send it to the printer. Um, and I want to make sure that I know when everything is available for me. So I'm going to go ahead and select my metro and I am in the mid Atlantic region. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select that and click the next button. So you'll see that your timeline starts from the date that you actually have your photos uploaded into listing concierge. Now your photographer should be doing that for you. Um, but for example, let's say that I had my photos taken this morning. Um, I met the photographer. Um, we took photos of the home. That means that no later than tomorrow, so he has 24 hours to get those to me, but at least by the end of business day tomorrow, I'm going to have those photos. Um, they're going to be in my listing concierge, and that's going to be the catalyst to get everything started as long as I have my marketing copy. So I want to make sure that I've gone in and put my listing remarks into listing concierge as well. Um, also remember that holidays are included in timeline calculation. For example, um, last week when we had President's Day, the timeline skipped over Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and Tuesday was the next business day. So let's say tomorrow um, is the date that all of my photos are going to be back um, and my marketing copy, I know to get that in there. And I'm going to calculate my business, uh, my business delivery for all of my deliverables. Um, so my property website, my single property website, that can go live within one day. So tomorrow I'm going to get all those photos back. Um, I'm going to have my marketing copy in there, which means by Wednesday, this is already going to be professionally designed. It's already going to be live and I can start using it. I'm also going to receive the the brochure proof. Now notice that this says brochure proof. So I need to go in as the agent and have full control of my marketing. I'm going to go ahead and proof it. And I'm going to see that, um, you know, if I like it, if there's anything that I want to change, um, I now have the ability as an agent to go in. There's no longer a delay. I don't have to reject it and, and send it back to my listing concierge coordinator unless I would like that additional help. It is there for me, um, but I can go in and change photos. I can change the copy. Maybe um, the owner has called and said, you know, I really want to make sure that you point out X, Y, and Z. If I didn't add that, I can go in and add that, um, and I can send this to print myself. Um, from what I've heard from agents, usually within the next day or two, they do receive their brochures. So let's say, you know, I've gotten my brochure proof Wednesday the 24th. I can send that to print and come Thursday or Friday, I can have my brochures in hand. Um, then on Thursday, I'm going to have the proof 
four, depending on my package. Um, silver would be my just listed postcards and the gold or platinum would be my trifold mailers and those beautiful silver envelopes. Um, I'm going to get that proof as well, and I need to go in and send that to print. Um, just know that your field marketing specialist and your listing concierge coordinator, we are unable to send those things to print on your behalf. So it really does give you full control of your marketing, which from an agent perspective, I really like. I know that somebody else isn't going to go in there and accidentally send something in it, and I didn't want it to go to print yet. Um, but now I know to go in, look at that proof. You will receive emails from your listing concierge coordinator as well. Um, but I like this timeline because I don't know about you, I get a million emails a day and I don't want to miss anything. Um, also, <clears throat> excuse me, my property e-blast proof. So that e-flyer that I have, it's going to go out to my prospect square group. I always like to point out this proof here because I feel that this is the piece of marketing that gets dropped the most. We want to make sure that we have all of our clients, our prospects, all of the people that we have an email address for. We want to have them in Prospect Square. We want to have them in a group. Your listing concierge coordinator will reach out to you via email. They will ask you if you would like, um, you know, what group would you like your e-blast sent out to? If your Prospect Square is not set up, this piece of your marketing cannot be maximized. And I don't know about you, but I want everyone in the world to see when I have listed a home. I want them to see the beautiful e-flyer, the beautiful photos that I've paid for. This is the marketing that I bring to the table. Um, that said, when you're utilizing something like listing concierge, I don't ever tell anyone that I have this program. I have a property website that goes live for you. And I have a digital marketing team that sets that they work for me. They set this up for you. I have a professional marketing team that does your brochures and all of your direct mail. Um, you know, I send all this stuff out. I have a field marketing, you know, I have a marketing specialist that works with me one on one. I have a professional photographer. Utilize all of these and take ownership of them uh, because it's very impressive to be able to tell somebody, you know, I have X amount of contacts that I'm sending this out to. So it also helps you keep top of mind. So we know that sending this e-blast proof, you know, this e-blast to all of our contacts doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to buy this property. It's it's intended to help sell the property, but more so it's intended to help sell you, to keep you top of mind with all of your clients, the people that know you. I, I love to receive anything for, for a property. I'm not in the market to buy a house, but if you sent me something, I would gladly open it up and look at it just because it's, I like to look at properties. Um, and if they don't open it, they don't open it, but just know that that proof will be to you, um, in this case, by Thursday. Um, also, it's really important to know that my Boost by HomeSpotter ad will be available to me by Thursday. So this says gold and platinum, it fibs. We're in the mid-Atlantic area, so we're a little special. We get that with silver and gold and platinum. Um, so 10 days for silver and gold and three weeks for platinum. And this is really, really important to recognize because what you have the ability to do is any time before Thursday, so once this ad is created, I can go to desk and I can go to this Home Spotter Boost app with the tile in my desk. I can click through. Now mine will look a little different than yours because I'm an employee. Um, so I do apologize for that part. But I can click through and I can see what's actually going on with my particular ad. I can set it up. I can add the seller's information to it. So that is a definite bonus, um, a way to maximize this particular piece of marketing that's included with my listing concierge order. So let's just pretend that this very first property right here is my listing. Um, the property is already running and that's okay. Um, I can go through and I can hit the view and edit button and yours will only show your listing. So mine shows everything because I'm an employee. Um, but yours will show your listings. You're able to open this up 
And again, I, I want to do this before the ad starts running, but if I forget and, and I come in now, that's okay too. And I'm going to see what does my ad look like on social media. So here it's going to show me what it's going to look like on Facebook. Um, it's going to have my name. It's going to have my photo. So it's branding me as the listing agent for this property. And then what is it going to look like on the internet? So remember, we don't just get Facebook and Instagram like anybody can do just Facebook and Instagram. We also do the internet. Um, this ad's going to be seen on places like CNN, the Weather Channel, which I don't know about you, but a lot of people are on the Weather Channel right now. Um, you know, NBC Sports, uh, HDTV, just a lot of different places, and the ad will be seen on the internet as well. But wait, there's more. So I can go in, I can edit my campaign if I would like to. I generally tend to leave mine the way that it is just because it works very well with the algorithms. And now I can make myself look good to the seller because that's what I really want to do. I want to look good. I promised all these things when we listed and I want to show them that I have great integrity. I'm a very honest person and I'm following through. So I can add my seller information here. Um, so here you can see by providing the seller's information, what the system is going to do is it's going to target them online so they're more likely to see the ad for their own listing. I'm not going to tell them that I did this. I'm not going to give away my marketing secrets to them. I'm just going to let them think that I paid big bucks to push this ad out and everyone is seeing it because obviously when they see it, they're going to assume that everyone is seeing it. I can add their full name here. I can add their email. <coughs> and the reason I want to go in before this particular date, the 25th on Thursday, is because I want to send them an ad preview when the campaign starts. So if the campaign's already started, that's okay too. But I can also automatically send them an ad summary when the campaign ends. So it'll automatically go out. I don't even have to think about it. Um, and it will go out to them and I can add as many sellers as I need to. Uh, we had a property that was listed, you know, um, mom and dad were selling our home and it was it was four brothers and sisters. I can add all of them here as sellers because they're selling the home. Um, and then I can save that seller info and all of them will be targeted by this ad, both in social media and as well as on the the Internet. Not only that, um, but I can automatically email the seller the results when this is over. Maybe I haven't gone in and already set that up. If I want to go in and send them the results when it's over, I can do that. And you can see here, this still has a week, two days, seven hours, eight minutes left. So this is a brand new ad. Um, so one engaged so far, 23 click throughs to view the home and already over 800 people have seen it. And this literally just came out uh, probably today. Um, so just think of, of that um, when, you know, when it does finally go out, we're seeing most of the ad views are over 10,000. Um, so these are all baby ads. Um, but as you scroll through, um, let's see if we can get to maybe a different a different page. Um, yeah, so you'll see here this one in particular. How impressive would it be to to send something to your sellers that has a report um, that says I had 84 people engaged with the ad that I paid to run on both social media and on the internet. Um, and I had over a thousand click throughs, but guess what? 24 thousand potential buyers saw your ad for your home because there are algorithms that are working in here to target people not not the kids that are on virtual learning not you know people that are on the internet just searching for whatever it's targeting people looking for moving companies and lenders and real estate and things of that nature so it's going out and using all of those algorithms the other benefit that I can do uh, with this system that I want to use to maximize my marketing is I want to get my leads. I paid for them and I want them. That's how I'm going to build my business. I'm going to increase my sphere of influence because now I can click through on the engage tab once the campaign is ended or at any time during the live campaign. And I can go through and you'll see all these email addresses here. 
I can market to every single one of these people. I have that ability because they gave their information to unlock photos or to get uh, directions or, you know, to get a property address, something of that nature. Um, maybe they calculated their mortgage. Every once in a while, you're going to get one that doesn't have uh, an email, and that's okay because you're going to see a majority of them do have emails. You are able to take these, however you do your lead generation, place them into your CRM, work these leads. Now, we only have emails. That's okay, um, but we want to work these leads, and maybe I don't want to go in every day and get them. I just want to get them um, all at one time. I can hit this export leads button here. That is going to allow me to pull all of these people up in a CSV file. So it's going to give me an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and you'll see here there's just a lot of information. Um, but I can go through and I can get the information that I need for in touch. Um, I mean, this system goes as far to tell me if they were on an iPhone, were they on an Android? I don't really need any of this information. Um, so I might want to get rid of it. So I can go through and delete those. Um, you know, maybe I don't need the lead time. Um, this one has call agent. So that one might be somebody that I really want to make sure that I'm getting through to. Um, you know, information requested. So these people have actually requested information. This person here, let's make that a little bit larger. Um, so this person here, this William, he unlocked the photos, called the agent, and requested information. He's probably a lot more serious about this particular property than the next person. Um, but I can take all of these people and I can import them into my InTouch. If you need help with that, please reach out to your field marketing specialist. We are definitely here to help you with this. Um, I have a special group set up for my listing concierge. Um, leads, maybe it's for a specific property. You can make your own group for this particular property, throw all of those people in there, and that way you'll know where they came from in the system. Um, so here we have that engagement activity. Again, don't forget to go in and export your leads, get those leads into your CRM and market them. And again, your timeline is going to remind you um, that you have that coming up, definitely go in, add your seller's information to that and be impressive. Um, the update is published every five business days. So that's um, every Friday. So it's not gonna be in time to go out on, on this Friday, but it's gonna come out next Friday and that's okay. Um, and it's gonna go out to all of the local real estate agents um, agents that either work in this area, they, they're in an office in this area, they bought here, they've sold here, it's going to reach them and go out to them. And then um, my professional voiceover actor is going to have my video slideshow done for me within seven business days. Um, if you have a silver, you're going to have a 20 second video. If you have gold, you're going to have 30 seconds. And if you have platinum, you're going to have 40 seconds. Um, so this is an important date to note as well, because when I place my order, I want to go back in and definitely look at the proof for this video. Um, what happens is they do have to whittle down what your listing remarks are to fit in that 20 or 30 or 40 second time frame. And depending on what your name is, they may also have pronunciation in there as well. Just to make sure that they're saying your name correctly in your ad um, or in your video. So just know that that is there as well for you. Um, so when we go back to desk and we click through to listing concierge, um, we're able to go in um, and I'm going to go in as an agent um, just to show you on behalf of another agent. Um, and it's OK. She knows that I go into her account all the time. Um, so when I go into her particular, um, you're going to come into listing concierge and it's going to show you your order here. So let's say I've gotten the photos back and I want to go in and I want to do some marketing. Um, how do I do that? How do I maximize all of the marketing that's in here? And I want to utilize every single piece um, because although the company has paid like 72% of this marketing, I've also paid some money and I want to get my money's worth. Um, 
So I'm going to go ahead and click on my manage order. And that's going to throw me into the order management screen. This is a great way to take a quick look at the marketing that I have for this particular property. It's going to give me the product. It's going to tell me what type of service it is and what is the status. Now you'll see on this one, most of these are already done. That's okay. Um, it's great for me to be able to show you what's going on in the system. Um, we also can see over here on the left hand side, your listing concierge coordinator. Now this concierge coordinator is Angel. It does have her direct number. It also has her direct email. And if for whatever reason, I can't get a hold of Angel. Angel does time block during the day. Um, I do want her to focus on my um, all of my marketing when she's working on it. So if she's working on my marketing or someone else's, that's understandable. Uh, she may not be able to get back to me immediately, but if I have an urgent question, I can always call the main listing concierge number as well. If I if I just need immediate satisfaction to speak to someone. Um, also know that your field marketing specialist, we can also help you with your orders and your SSA as well. So let's say I've just placed my order. I have all of my photos in the system and I also have my property description, AKA my marketing copy, my listing remarks. Um, we've gone in, we've already put in the listing remarks. We've put in that headline. So we know once we have our photos and our listing remarks, that is the catalyst to get this timeline started. Um, so we've got the timeline started. We can go in and I want to go in and I want to look at the photos that the photographer has taken and I want to heart any of the photos that I really, really love. Um, this is really important because photography is very subjective. Um, I might go in and say, oh, you know what? I really love this particular photo where you may actually love this particular photo. Um, so I want to let the listing concierge coordinator know, um, you know, which photos I prefer. So you can see here that Vicki chose this photo of the kitchen. She placed it up at the top and she put a heart on it. Um, down at the very, very bottom, she has another photo of the kitchen that's not hearted. If I want to move this, I can just toggle this and put this in any order that I want to put it in. Um, if I don't, if I'm not very good at, at switching things around, I can also click on the very, very bottom and I can scroll through and say, well, maybe I want this to be photo number five. And then once I click off of that anywhere in, in the white area over here, you'll see that that shot that photo up to number five. I can then also change that to go back to number 36 where it was, which I will do for Vicki's sanity if she comes back in here. Um, and you'll see it, it put it back on the bottom. <clears throat> I like to go in here. It's very easy to play around with um, dragging and dropping and putting these in a specific order. Um, so once I've done that and I get them in the order that I want and I have the hearts, I can also download these in this order and then upload them into the MLS if I choose to do it that way. I can also take the photos from the email I received from the photographer, uh, save them to the computer and upload them into the MLS that way as well. Um, I can look at this. Um, there you'll see there's some different waffle menus at the top. Um, we have the broad waffle menu, and then if I want to look at these a little bit larger so that I can really, really see them, um, that might be where this number is a lot easier to toggle through them. Um, and I can also see that I have 14 that are saved. Um, where that number is going to come into play is when I go and look at my brochure proof, um, it's going to let me know you know, if I pick the 11 by 17, how many photos are included? I want to make sure that I favored enough that the listing concierge coordinator, or maybe I don't care. Maybe I just want her to pick them. That's okay too. Um, I don't have to heart anything. I can just let her do her professional thing and go in and select them for me um, because I can go back into the brochure later and change them out myself if I choose. Um, so when I first placed my order, there are four pieces that I can use to maximize my marketing immediately. Um, I don't have to wait for my coordinator. I don't have to wait for anything. 
I can go in as long as my property description is here, as long as my photos are in this system, I can go through immediately. And the very first thing that I can do is a partial service DIY flyer. Um, so you can see she's already completed this. Um, this will come up and say, hey, do you want to start this? You're going to say yes. And you can see here we have a flyer and it's already created. Because I put my photos in a specific order, it brought the photos and dropped them into this particular flyer. Let's say I want to change these photos out. I can go into photos and I can literally drag and drop the photos here and it will let me refresh and it will update the flyer here. Um, so I'll make that a little smaller so that we can see it. And you'll see here it added this particular photo. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six options. So I have six options here. If I would like to replace that with a different photo, I can always drag and drop that into the number two space. I can go ahead and refresh that again. And you'll see. That's going to drop that into the number two space here as well. Um, so I can really play around with how I want these photos to look. It's up to me. It's my marketing and I have full control. Um, I have all of the details for this property, the description. If I would like to go in, maybe I've written too much in the description. I can kind of take some of that information out. Um, so let's say I've gone ahead and taken that out. Once I hit this save button, this particular, I'm just going to refresh. This particular flyer is going to auto update. So you'll see here automatically it's already been taken out. And let's say I have to add something. I can go in once I've saved it and refreshed it. It's going to automatically update this flyer. The beautiful part of this flyer is I can go in at any time. I can change this headline. Maybe I have an open house um, coming up. Um, so the 20, we'll say the 28th, um, from, you know, one to 3 PM. Um, I can do that. I can hit the save button. I can hit the refresh button and literally I can go in and download this, print this out and take this. Now you'll see here it was too much text. So that's where I might want to just come in and shorten that just a little bit. Um, and I can save that again. And it did outline that for me in red. Um, so I definitely want to proof everything that I'm using. Now it says open house Saturday, February 28th from one to three. And again, when I'm done, let's say I need to print out a few more for the brochure box. I can just go in and put that headline back in that I wanted, change the headline any way I want. Maybe it's just listed. Maybe it's price just improved. Maybe the home, the price has been reduced. I can go and say price just improved and I can include that as well, even though it does say price upon request. Um, I can also go in and change the design of my flyer at any time. Um, so I can decide, you know, it is an eight and a half by 11. Um, it's definitely going to be portrait. I don't have any page folded. Um, maybe I want one sided or maybe I want two sided. I can do a two sided flyer. If I choose again, just go in and select the one that you like the most, select the design. And what that's going to do is it's going to update the design in the system and you'll see it's going to auto fill. But now I have to go in and let it know which additional photos I would like to select because the original flyer had six. So now I need to go in and again, I can just go through and I can drag and drop these photos in. I'm just going to go ahead and, and throw some photos in there um, any way that I want to. And any of the photos that I wanted included um, will be included in this particular um, this particular flyer. And I can hit this refresh button here. And now I have a two page flyer that I can print out in my office. But again, here, look, I have a missing headline. I can go through the description here. I have a headline. Oh, I want to make sure that I have a headline here, um, you know, situated, uh, whatever it is that you want to say. Um, I'm just going to say for sale. Um, and I have the body here, body for the very first page. 
And then if I want something here, I can type in body for the back page here, whatever it is that I want to type. Um, and I want to hit save. And I'm going to always go ahead and refresh. And that's the thing that I like about the system now is there's no delay. I can go in and I can do this um, in however long it, it takes me. And then I like to download um, for this sake. I'm going to do low. You always want to do high resolution. I'm going to do low resolution just so it doesn't take forever and a day for it to download for me. And then I'm able to pull this up print this out. I can print it double sided in my office or my home office. You'll see I just said, you know, body for the back page, but it has all of my information on it. I'm fully compliant. It's got my mobile number. It's got my office number. It's got my title. It has my disclaimer. It has the fair housing logo. It has everything I need to be fully compliant with the law and it looks good. And I didn't have to do hardly anything at all, but drag and drop some photos put in my marketing copy here. It even has my website it's showing off my website for me and I'm able to print this out in the office, grab it and go. If I need that open house flyer again, I can go in, I can change the headline and I can do anything that I need to. And maybe I also want to share this with, um, you know, maybe I want to email this to myself um, and I can search, well, search myself. Um, What's well, not going to let me do that right now? Um, but okay, maybe not. But if I need to share with another agent in the office, maybe, you know, somebody saying, hey, do you have anything that's on the market? I need, you know, uh, a three bedroom, two bedroom home in this area. And you can send them the flyer and say, hey, check out this listing that I have. Um, back to the order management. So that's one thing that I can do to maximize my marketing immediately. As soon as I have my marketing copy in there, as soon as I have my photos in, Bam, I have a flyer. It's already done. Print it out, stick it in the brochure box. I can print these flyers out. Maybe I have a, a letter that's on the back of them or, you know, send it out with a letter. I can send it to a neighborhood. If I'm farming a specific neighborhood, I can do that. Um, also my website. So I can click through on that website. Um, once it's ready to go, once the listing concierge has, has hit the button, I can go in and I can publish um, I can publish this website and then it's going to be live. The benefit of that is I can take this website and I can include that on my in touch agent website itself. I can I can put a I can hyperlink it. Um, I can go in, I can view this site live and I can take this particular URL. So this link, copy it. I can share it on my Facebook business page. I can share it with my seller and encourage them to share it with their sphere of influence too, because they want to sell their property, but I want my information to go out. That's the main thing for me. I want my information to go out to as many potential buyers as possible. That is the benefit of having a listing is it brings in extra business. It brings in more listings. It brings in the buyers so I can utilize my single property website. I can push it out again on my Facebook business page. I can put a, a, a link to it, hyperlink it on my agent in touch website. Um, and I can send it to my clients to have them also push things out. And you'll see here. Again, I can go through and manipulate the photos. Um, I can go through and see some other information. Um, if you would like to link this, um, you know, you can reach out to your uh, listing hot tiers coordinator. But again, I can go through the description, all of the details, and I can go in and edit this any way that I need to. Um, back to order management. Another thing that I can look at immediately is a social media banner. Um, so I want to push this out on social media. There are several different ways to do it where it always looks new and fresh. Um, and I can go in, you'll see the basic design is here. Relax and rewind. It has the property address. And I don't want to get too wordy here um, just because if I do, it will infiltrate. Uh, it will go down a little bit and go over that logo. And we definitely don't want that. Um, but I'm also able to go in and change the design. So this is something relatively new um, in the past month. We do have new designs. So agents spoke, listen, concierge listened, and they followed through. Um, although it does in some instances say two sides, you can't have a two-sided social media post. Um, so 
I was just going select one side um, and you're able to go in and look at all of the different formats. You know, you can put these on Facebook. They work very well on Instagram. Um, and again, it's completely up to you which one you choose. Uh, we're just going to select this design just for the sake of it. Um, and when that pops up again, this is something that I can do immediately as soon as I have my photos, as soon as I have um, my information in here and I can push this out and it's always going to look different. I can go in and change um, the photos. So maybe I want to include um, the interior photo instead maybe i've already pushed something out on my website with with the front of the home i want this to look a little bit different um so you know relax and rewind it's got the the property address here and i can push that out with a link to the property um again i can change the design i can go in here um several agents that i've worked with you're able to go in and download multiples so maybe I want to do a slideshow or a carousel on Facebook. I can do that. And again, I want to download that high resolution so that I'm able to upload that onto my social media and push that out any way that I need to. Again, not something that I even have to think about. I can just go ahead and save it to my computer and upload it to, um, to my Facebook and to my Instagram. Um, I also have the option to go in immediately and do a video slideshow. So here I have the professional video. And remember, on my timeline, I'm waiting for that. I'm not going to get that until next week. But in the meantime, I'm going to use my video slideshow. Um, I'm going to go in. I'm, this is just going to have music that plays with it. I can't choose the music just yet. That is something that they are working on as a request by agents to be able to, um, to do that. But I can go in again, drag and drop any of the photos in here. Um, I can add several. You'll see here there are a lot of photos. I can make this shorter if I would like. Um, I can go in and delete any of the photos out of. No, they're not deleted out of my my photos in the system. But maybe I don't want all of these extra outdoor photos in here. I can just take those out um, if I choose to. And then any changes that I've made, I can just hit continue and that's going to update for me. Uh, product has been updated. And then again, I can go in, um, copy the link, download it and push it out on social media as well. All right, we have some questions in the chat. Um, how soon can we create a listing concierge order before we bring the property online? Can we get started with casual photos a few weeks before we launch so we can just upload professional photos when they are ready? Um, so we know, it, at least in the state of Maryland, um, you have 21 days to have a coming soon listing on the MLS, although we are not able to show the property. We can market the property. Um, you can place your listing concierge order. However, um, once you have uploaded photos into the system, those are the photos that will be used in all of your marketing. So there isn't a way to create two sets of marketing unless you place two separate orders. Um, so we definitely, um, if you have anything that you want to use out there with, with some photos you've just taken in the meantime, I would push those out maybe on social media or on your website. But casual photos, I wouldn't use them for this system. We definitely want to get the photographer out there. Um, and you can place this order even if the property isn't coming on the market for another couple weeks. We can still place this order, get those photos. Now, just so that you know, when you place the listing concierge order, um, when you place the order, you are requesting an appointment with the photographer. So if I place the order today, I can request that appointment tomorrow of course weather weather permitting um so i've requested it for tomorrow the photographer has up to 24 hours to get back to me and i will tell you they want your business so they're definitely going to get back to you quickly um if they don't have the the date and the time um you know available then they have up to three business days to get you in so you're not going to be waiting weeks and weeks and weeks um i remember when I was doing this, we would wait a week and a half to two weeks for our photographer and it pushed all of our marketing back. Um, this, if I, for example, I'm placing my order on a Monday, 
Um, I'm going to have my photos by the end of this week and all of this marketing is going to be able to be to begin. Um, so I, I definitely wouldn't um, use any of your own photos in here. Although if, for example, you have decided that you're not using a listing concierge photographer, maybe you have a, a relationship with a photographer that you utilize, um, you can get for silver and gold that $50 credit or for platinum, the $80 credit to upload your own photography. Um, but just make sure that anything you upload into this system is professional photography. Um, some of the other photos as well, cell phone pictures will not work with most of this marketing. They're not high enough resolution. Um, so, okay, so I have another question here on social media. Why isn't there a full address? Um, need state zip community name. So you are able to go in, so social media banner um, for that because you don't necessarily, that's not required um, in anything that you're pushing out. Um, I'm probably going to put a link to my website or the single property website if I push this out anywhere um, just because I want that information. Um, but you'll see here, yeah, it does only pull um, your city um, and the the property address. You can also go in if you want to put that in the headline. You can do that as well. Um, and there is a way to again change the design. If I want to go back into um, the original design, and I can add that. I can. You'll see here. It does come up in this particular design with the full address. So if that's something that you that you find is necessary for your marketing, you can put that and and use this particular one. Um, and character count on the description. Um, so that is a good question. That is something um, that they are working on. I do have best practices sheet that I will send to everyone on this call. Um, that will outline some of the character counts that are suggested. Um, hopefully they will add that to the system soon um, so that it will just pop up down here. Um, right now they haven't done it, um, but I will send that out to you. Um, okay, and then another one uh, regarding the first question, the work is being done on the house. It's not ready for photos. Um, I would prefer not to wait seven days before the marketing is ready for the property. Um, so if there's some work that's being done on the house and it's not ready for photos, that's where you could very much just go in and, um, you know, take some of your own photos to put it out on social media or maybe the MLS. But, um, you know, waiting seven days for the marketing, um, I always set the expectations with my clients when I meet with them. Um, I'm not just coming into your home and slapping a, a sign in the yard and and putting you on the MLS. Like I have a I have a marketing team that works for me. Um, I have a professional photographer on my roster. I have a digital marketing team that creates all the digital marketing assets for us. Um, and I have a partnership with a field, you know, with with a marketing specialist. Again, I'm not telling anybody I have this system. Now, all this stuff costs a lot of money. It's thousands of dollars to do this stuff, um, but I'm willing to partner with you. You know, it costs a lot of money, but it's definitely worth it. I'm partnering with you to get your home sold and I'm going to manage the client's expectations. We can do it really quickly and overnight, but it's not going to be done right. And I want to maximize the marketing for their home because that's going to maximize the ability to bring in the right buyer with the right terms for the right price. Now, I never say the highest because sometimes all, all clients are different, but I want the right buyer at the right terms for the right price. That's my goal in marketing the property is to get it sold. Um, and we're partners in this. So here I am already putting myself out there, paying for all this marketing. And I let them know it's expensive, but it's definitely worth it to bring the best. And don't they deserve the best? I mean, we all we all do. Um, I don't think anybody's going to argue with you and be like, no, I don't deserve the best. Um, so that kind of sets the standard with them as well so that they know there is a process. We do have to come in and take the photos. We want the best representation of the property because remember too that when people are finding your listing online, that's the first impression. The first property tour of this home in 97% of cases most likely is going to be online. People are going to look at this property online before they actually come in person to look at it. I think with COVID, even more so. 
Um, so I can maximize again. I go in immediately as soon as I have my property description, my photos. I can go in and get my flyer done. I can go in and start on um, my social media banner on that video slideshow. And then my listing concierge coordinator, she's going to start that postcard for me, that brochure for me. And just know that when you do go in and these things have been completed for you, again, I want to keep my, my eye on that timeline because I want to get in the very first moment that I can get in and proof this. I want to get in and proof it. And you'll see here, I can download this. I can print it out just so that I can read it easily. Um, you'll see here some things are upside down because Vicki did choose the 11 by 17 calendar option. So they do have a little toggle button here if I need to turn that around so that I can read it. I can do that. Um, I can go in. I do have the ability to change this information. I can go in and change the photos myself change the design. Maybe I don't like that particular design. I can go in and change the design. I can do a lot of those things myself now in the system. So there is no extra delay. Um, brochures. Let's say I have a whole bunch of brochures. I have 50 brochures that are printed out and the property goes under contract in three days. And I've had agents come back and they're like, well, that's a waste. It's a waste of my marketing. I've spent all this money and I have Oh no, no, no. Like I can take these brochures. I can take them with me on future listing appointments. I can give something tangible to a prospective client to say, this is the quality of my marketing. This is what you get when you list with me. Um, so it increases your value proposition. Um, I've worked with agents that have taken these brochures and they have mailed them out to the neighborhood in addition. So I might have had 50 just sold or I'm, I'm sorry, 50 just listed postcards, um, you know, or mailers that went out. I'm going to increase the sphere now of this particular neighborhood and maybe I'm going to mail out the brochures or maybe I'm going to walk the neighborhood um, and, and give out the brochures and let people know this is what you get when you market with me. Um, I've had agents that once I have a few of these orders under my belt, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to have one order where I've, I've used the 11 by 17 calendar, another order, <coughs> excuse me, where I have the eight by eight booklet and another where I have the eight and a half by 11. Now I have an example of anything that I'm willing to use. I'm going to take those with me. I'm going to hand them to a prospective seller in a listing presentation and say, which one do you want? when we list your home <clears throat> because nine out of ten if they're selecting all oh, you know i want this calendar now they're already thinking that they're going to list with you they're already choosing the marketing they're partnering with you they're a part of the process they can see again good marketing doesn't happen overnight but it's essential to getting the maximum for your property the, again the best terms the best buyer and the best price because that's really what anybody can can list your home and sell it but we, we want the best. That's what we want. Um, so once you've got in, another thing that I always like to point out, um, if your listing concierge coordinator, um, they do work for Coldwell Banker. They are not an outside source. This is not a third party that we deal with. And listing concierge is very, very big on customer service. So they will go above and beyond to help you as much as possible um, with anything that they can help you with. Um, they will send you a survey at the end for your satisfaction. And just so that you know, they do set the bar very, very high um, for working with you, making sure that everything is exactly the way that you want it um, with your anything that you push out. Um, now, there is another cheat in here very quickly. Uh, I know that we're running out of time, but you can go through um, again to the listing concierge tab to that menu and click on the help center as well. Um, in the background, in the help center, when that pops up, um, you're going to see a few different things. So we can do the getting started. Um, if we click on that, there are some helpful Mid-Atlantic Listing Concierge helpful materials. If you need a reminder, so these are different things that you need before you place your order. We want to make sure that our profile is robust. It has our photo. And here again is that cheat sheet for our timeline. Um, so you can find it here as well. If you would like additional marketing, you do have to place that at the time of the order, but I can order additional 
postcards or brochures, mailers, things that I need for my marketing. And now that the process is underway and I've placed my order, now what I want to do, there's another cheat sheet here. What can I do with the property, sing, uh, the single property website? Um, I can add that to my Coldwell Banker Homes profile. I can go into CB Homes Admin. I can add the link in there. Um, I can add the unbranded link on the MLS. I can do, you know, Facebook, Twitter. I can send it to my social, uh, to my clients' social media. I can tag them in it. I can put that as a hyperlink on my website um, and any print advertising that I do, any property flyers that I print out again through this system, I can add that link to them um, and anything that you do outside of listing concierge. Now you're also going to get that property tour, that YouTube spot when it does become available, that professional voiceover, um, and you're able to take the YouTube link um, and you're able to put that again in your ColdwellBankerHomes.com profile on CB Homes Admin um, in the desk. You can put the unbranded, um, get a link for the unbranded tour, put that on the MLS. Again, you can add that to your single property website so your listing concierge coordinator can assist with that, putting it on social media, putting it on your website, and emailing it to clients and contacts. And when I say putting it on your website, um, you're able to take that particular link. You can go straight to um, straight to YouTube. You can find that and you can actually put the video here and embed it right on your website. Um, so maybe this is, this is just an example. This is the, the DIY with the music, but you're able to include that on your website. Um, in order to do that, uh, you would just go to your video slideshow, your professional video slideshow, um, copy the link here for that professional tour. Please pardon my phone. Um, and I'm going to go to this tour. Now when I pull this up, it's going to be, it's going to fill my screen. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and click on it. And then this YouTube button down here on the right hand side, if I click on that, it's going to take me to YouTube. All on one. So now I have my professional video. It's on YouTube, which by the way is very important because Google owns YouTube, which means this particular property is going to be pulled up in the search results a little bit more um, on Google because of course they want to push out their, their YouTube. Um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on the share button. And then I want to embed this on my website so I can click on this embed key. I always remember it's the greater than less than it's like I'm picking it up. I'm going to put it down somewhere else. I'm going to go ahead and click that and you're going to see here. There's a bunch of what looks like Swahili and I'm going to copy it because I can't read it. I don't need to read it. It's OK. I'm just going to copy it. And then I'm able to go to my in touch website and I can determine where would I like to put this on my website. Uh, I want it, maybe I want it on the home page. Maybe I want it on a particular tab. Um, I can go in a website. I want to edit my site. Um, and again, you want to choose, and your field marketing specialist can help you with this as well. Um, let's say I want to put this on my home page. Um, I'm going to go in, I'm going to open whatever page it is that I want to include it. I'm going to click on the widget and custom content. Um, and this is where I can say, you know, you know, marketing marketing done right or you know new listing um new listing anything that you want to say um and i'm able to go in and again i want to pick that source code remember it, it, it i always do hands when i do it but it's it's that greater than less done sign and i'm going to go ahead and paste that right into the source code and hit okay and my video is just going to pop up from there, I can align it any way that I want to align it on my website. You know, I can say, you know, check out this new listing in. Again, you just want to type whatever it is that you want. Um, you can go in and you can choose my everything on my website is kind of big because I have a hard time seeing things. I can choose the font, the size, the paragraph, bold and anything that I want. And then I can hit next. I can hit save. Um, and then we know it's going to it's going to take it and put it on the bottom. So if that's something that I want higher up, I can always move that up if I want. 
but I'm going to go ahead and preview and save that. And then I'm going to save it in its entirety. What that means now is I can go to my website. And again, I'm a preview person. I want to see it live. I want to see that it's working. Um, I'm going to go to my website. I'm going to scroll down through all the things that I have. And here's that new listing. Check out this new listing and someone can go to my website and they can play all on one level this automatically. And although we are running out of time, just know that you can sit with your listing concierge. Um, I'm sorry, with your field marketing specialist. And if you would like to take this and maximize your marketing even further, you are able to take this video, your flyer, your, um, your single property website, and all of the marketing that's included here, and you can insert it into your Moxie listing presentation. Um, there's something called iframes. You can take your video, put that in a frame. It will play directly from your Moxie presentation. Um, using the iframe, you can actually include your single property website as well as search the property on your agent website and you can include both of those in your moxie listing presentation for future listings to win future listings as an example of not only am i telling you that i'm going to give you these things but here are examples of other listings that i've utilized them for here's what they really look like in real time um, because as wonderful it is to tell somebody that you're going to give them a professional voiceover video when they actually click on it and go in and look at it, it looks very impressive. Um, just know that your field marketing specialist is here. We can help you with all of these processes. Um, we can go in and help you with all of your marketing, marketing yourself with your listing concierge order and beyond. Um, any kind of help that you need, that is what we are here for. Um, does anyone have any questions? <laughs> 